Today, we introduced our seventh generation of TPUs, Ironwood. Ironwood TPUs are our largest and most powerful TPU pods to date, more than a 10x improvement from our most recent high-performance TPU, with over 9,000 chips per pod. Google's new AI chip just crushed the fastest supercomputer on Earth. Not by a little, but by 24 times. Their custom Ironwood TPU, revealed at Cloud Next 2025, hits 42.5 exaflops when scaled compared to El Capitan's 1.7. In this video, we're breaking down what that number really means, what Ironwood is built to do, and how it's changing the economics of AI overnight. But that's not all. We'll also explore how this chip fits into Google's full-stack AI infrastructure, and why this move could redefine the cloud war with AWS and Microsoft. Let's dive in. What makes Ironwood different? For the past several years, most AI hardware especially custom silicon like TPUs, has focused on training. That's the computationally intensive process where massive models are taught how to understand language, recognize patterns, or generate new content. But training happens once. Inference happens constantly. Every time you ask a question, generate an image, or type a prompt. This is where Ironwood breaks from Google's past TPU strategy. It's the first Google TPU designed exclusively for inference and that decision reflects a broader industry shift. With AI models becoming more powerful and used more frequently, inference has quietly become the main bottleneck, not training. Each Ironwood chip is engineered for high-throughput, low-latency inference, with significantly better compute density and energy efficiency than anything Google has shipped before. And compared to the sixth-generation Trillium TPU, Ironwood steps things up in every direction. We're talking six times more memory, 4.5 times more bandwidth, and two times the performance per watt. Why does that matter? Because AI isn't just living in research labs anymore. It's showing up in finance, healthcare, retail, and media, all places where every millisecond and every watt counts. And it's not just Google saying this. According to Amin Vadat, Google's Vice President of Machine Learning, Systems, and Cloud AI, Ironwood is built to support this next phase of generative AI and its tremendous computational and communication requirements. The entire chip architecture has been optimized for AI agents that don't just respond. They reason, synthesize, and interact. So this isn't just a faster chip. It's an infrastructure play for the next generation of AI systems. The age of inference. To understand the importance of Ironwood, you have to understand the phase of AI we're entering. We've spent the last five years talking about foundation models, GPT, Gemini, Claude, and others, most of them competing based on size, parameter count, and training complexity. But now the spotlight is shifting to inference, where the trained models are actually deployed to do real-world tasks. Google calls this the age of inference. Why? Because training is a one-time cost. Inference is a recurring cost that happens billions of times a day. Every time a chatbot answers a question, every time a search result is personalized, or an image is generated, that's inference. And those operations aren't cheap. Google reports that AI compute demand has grown 10 times year over year for the last eight years. That's a hundred million fold increase since 2016. And Moore's Law, the idea that chip power doubles every 18 to 24 months, simply can't keep up. That's why custom inference hardware matters so much. Ironwood is Google's attempt to get ahead of this curve by offering significantly more compute per watt, making it possible to deliver complex AI functionality without draining infrastructure budgets or energy grids. This shift also reflects where AI is headed, toward models that don't just retrieve answers, but actively reason, plan, and problem solve. Ironwood is designed to handle those workloads efficiently especially as AI moves from simple chatbots to multi-agent systems that collaborate and respond dynamically. To meet the exponentially growing demands of the most demanding thinking models, like Gemini 2.5, this delivers a staggering 42.5 exaflops of compute per pod. To give you a sense of the scale, the world's number one supercomputer supports 1.7 exaflops. Inside Ironwood's insane specs. Let's talk numbers because that's where Ironwood really starts to distance itself from anything else on the market. 
Each individual ironwood chip delivers a peak compute power of 4,614 teraflops. That's trillions of floating point operations per second. Scale that up to 9,216 chips, the configuration used in Google's TPU pods, and you get 42.5 exaflops. For context, El Capitan, which was designed for nuclear simulation and national security applications, maxes out at 1.7 exaflops. In terms of memory, each Ironwood chip packs 192 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory, HBM, six times more than Trillium. That enables larger model execution, faster token processing, and reduced bottlenecks during inference tasks. The memory bandwidth per chip has also seen a major boost. 7.2 terabits per second, a 4.5x increase over the previous TPU generation. And in a world where power constraints are becoming a major issue, especially in large-scale data centers, Ironwood offers real gains in efficiency. Google claims that it delivers twice the performance per watt compared to Trillium, and nearly 30 times the efficiency of the first cloud TPU released in 2018. Why does that matter? Because many businesses and institutions want to use advanced AI models, but they're held back by the cost of powering and running those systems. Ironwood's efficiency means more compute, less electricity, and lower deployment costs, especially at scale. And these aren't isolated claims. This is based on Google's internal metrics shared during Cloud Next, aligned with industry benchmarking standards, and they're planning on releasing more performance results in the months ahead, powering Google's most advanced models. Yet, so what exactly is Google running on Ironwood? At the heart of it is the Gemini 2.5 family, the company's latest generation of AI models. These aren't just text predictors. Gemini 2.5 models are built with native reasoning capabilities, and they operate across multiple modalities, text, images, video, and even audio. First, there's Gemini 2.5 Pro, optimized for advanced use cases like scientific research, drug discovery, and financial modeling. It's designed to process complex queries that require multi-step reasoning, contextual awareness, and long-form generation. According to Google, it can analyze large documents, interpret graphs, and synthesize conclusions. All tasks that require more than just next token prediction. And all of this runs on TPUs, specifically optimized by Ironwood for high throughput inference. Then there's Gemini 2.5 Flash, a lighter and faster variant tuned for high volume, low latency tasks like chat, summarization, or smart assistance. It dynamically adjusts reasoning depth based on the complexity of the input, which helps balance cost and responsiveness in real-time use cases. Beyond text, Google showcased its suite of generative media tools, all powered by Ironwood. That includes text-to-image, text-to-video, and the newly introduced text-to-music model, Lyria, which generates musical compositions from written prompts. The goal here isn't just bigger models, it's smarter, more adaptable systems and Ironwood's efficiency allows them to run consistently and affordably at global scale. The system powering Ironwood behind the scenes. Ironwood isn't operating in isolation. It's part of a vertically integrated AI stack that spans custom hardware, dedicated networking, and optimized ML software infrastructure, all developed in-house. On the software side, Google is leveraging Pathways, its machine learning runtime developed by DeepMind, Pathways allows for scalable model serving across hundreds, even thousands, of TPU chips. It ensures distributed workloads, load balancing, and memory optimization across clusters, making it easier for developers to deploy and scale large models with minimal overhead. Then there's Cloud WAN, Google's managed wide area network service. This provides businesses with access to Google's planet scale private network delivering up to 40% improved performance while reducing total cost of ownership by a similar margin. That's critical for latency-sensitive applications and global AI deployment strategies. What sets Google apart here is its in-house control of the entire stack, from silicon to the software that runs on it. Unlike AWS, which relies on chips like Tranium and Inferentia from Annapurna Labs or Azure, which partners with NVIDIA and uses OpenAI's models, Google's ecosystem is built, tested, and deployed internally. 
That gives them faster iteration cycles and tighter optimization between components. Ironwood is the latest result of that decade-long TPU development effort, and it's what gives Google a unique position in the AI infrastructure race. Google's plan for multi-agent AI systems. While hardware and efficiency dominate the headlines, Google also introduced something potentially even more foundational, a shift toward multi-agent AI systems. This came in the form of two new tools, the Agent Development Kit, ADK, and the A2A protocol, or Agent-to-Agent -Agent Interoperability Protocol. ADK allows developers to build multiple AI agents that can interact, collaborate, and solve problems together. These agents can each specialize in a domain, one for scheduling, one for analysis, another for generating content, and work as a team to fulfill a user's request. Think less one chatbot, more a collaborative team of models. The A2A protocol extends that concept beyond Google's ecosystem. It's designed to enable communication between AI agents built on different platforms, models, or even vendors. That means a Gemini-powered agent could interact with an agent running on a completely different LLM, opening the door to interoperable, cross-platform AI ecosystems. This helps enterprises in multiple ways. It reduces vendor lock-in, encourages tool compatibility, and allows teams to mix and match best-in-class AI solutions without starting from scratch every time. Google already has 50-plus enterprise partners working on early implementations, including Salesforce, SAP, and ServiceNow. And it's clear this is more than an experiment. It's a strategic push to create a standardized communication layer for intelligent systems. Why this changes the AI game for enterprises. Zooming out, Ironwood and its supporting ecosystem are not just about breaking speed records. The implications for businesses deploying AI are real and immediate. First, there's the cost efficiency factor. Ironwood's improvements in compute density and power efficiency mean enterprises can deploy more advanced models with lower operational costs, especially important in sectors like finance, logistics, or research, where real-time inference at scale is essential. Second, it tackles the energy barrier. Many large organizations have avoided advanced AI due to the infrastructure cost and environmental impact. Ironwood's 30 times efficiency gain over Google's first TPU makes energy efficient AI much more viable. Third, the move toward multi-agent systems with standardized communication protocols makes it easier for businesses to integrate AI across different departments, tools, and vendor solutions. This reduces the overhead of maintaining separate models for separate tasks and enables more flexible, system-wide intelligence. At Google Cloud Next, the company noted that over 400 enterprise customer stories are being shared to showcase exactly how these technologies are being used, from product personalization to supply chain forecasting. And this is just Google's opening move with AWS and Microsoft likely to respond with inference-optimized solutions of their own, we may be looking at a new front in the AI infrastructure race. One that's not about who trains the biggest model, but who can run it smarter, faster, and more affordably. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.